Hey, Dewey. Hey, Dewey. I, I just want, I want to tell you a secret. Because you seem like the kind of guy who wouldn't judge me by what I like to read. Um, I like weird books. No, let me, let, me, let me introduce you to a friend. This is my friend, the Ebola virus. Ah, it's a giant microbe Ebola virus. Oh, look at that, Dewey. Dewey and Ebola virus. They're such good friends. Well, Dewey, the reason I wanted to show you the Ebola virus was uh, because I wanted to talk a little bit about different kinds of books that are in the library. And I have a confession to make. Sometimes I like books that are kind of gross and disgusting. And by gross and disgusting, I mean they talk about things like uh, the human body and how it works and sickness and kind of the history of, of, of medical science and stuff like that. Because some of those books are a little crazy. Uh, and I think that you'll actually like a lot of these books pretty, pretty well. You want to you see some of these books? All right, let me let me grab one. All right, so my first book here is called An American Plague. It's the true and terrifying story of the yellow fever epidemic of 1793. Now, you may not have known this, Dewey, but there was a silent murderer that was roaming the streets of, of, of Philadelphia one summer, and it was killing lots and lots of people. And pretty much everything about it was a mystery. Like, people didn't know why they were getting sick and dying uh, and it seemed to strike at random and just it was a really terrible time uh, and this is the story of kind of unraveling that mystery trying to figure out what was happening and trying to stop the death that has was really like messing up America's capital at the time so this is a really riveting account it is also a little gross because the yellow fever wasn't a very pleasant disease I mean there's lots of sickness so I know that you like gross things, and I like inter interesting science history. Uh, and so if any of those things appeal to you, you can check this one out. It's in the 600 sections, which is about the human body. Do it. Oh, there we go. This, this is another book that is a really fascinating one. It's brand new to our collection. It's called The Bone Collection Animals. So if you are sick of reading about people, and you wanted to read a little bit about animals. This one is kind of letting you see the insides of all sorts of creatures. Like, Dewey, you could learn about turtles. And you could even see some Nile crocodiles from the insides. And you could see what they do from the outsides. It's a really cool book with lots of great facts and awesome pictures. So, again, definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Now, I, I know that you'll really like this book, Dewey. Uh, it's called Poop Happens. It's a, it's a story by Sarah Albee, and it's actually like a really interesting history of people. Because, quite frankly, everybody has to go sometime, and you never, you never know. Like, the toilet, that wasn't around all the time. And it was kind of a fascinating invention. And this is talking about all of the things throughout history uh, that you should know about people and kind of how our society started to form because of a little thing that we all do. Now, uh, it'll talk about how lead pipes might have caused the fall of the Roman Empire. And it will talk about how knights who were wearing like 50 pounds of metal clothing found ways to go to the bathroom when they needed to. Uh, and then we'll talk about current stuff, like how do astronauts go in outer space? So this story, if you want to know all of that gross body science stuff, uh, Poop Happened, Sarah Albee. It's another nonfiction book that you can find in the children's room. Did I, did I list all my gross books? No, I, you're right, I didn't. Here, uh, there's a gentleman, author. His name is David McCauley. He writes really cool uh, architectural books. This, this particular one here is called Castle. Uh, and he talks a lot about how, how castles were built and how cathedrals were built and all sorts of stuff like that. And I know that doesn't sound exciting to you, Dewey, but uh, he recently came out with an early reader book that is more, more along your lines. Uh, it's called 
the toilet and how it works. Uh, and it's a really kind of along the lines of poop happen, a fascinating look at, at, at exactly what goes in to our toilet. We all have one in our house. You flush it, things go away, but where do they go? And how are they made? And where did this come from? So if you want a really fun book that's a quick, easy read for those younger readers, it's called David Macaulay's Toilet, How It Worked, and it's in the easy reader section in the library. So do you have any good book recommendations for me, Dewey? Oh, I, I, I like your book recommendations. What do you have for me? Oh, here, let me help you with that. Oh. Oh, well, this one looks really cool. It's called Outside In Human Body. Looks a, a little creepy there, Dewey. Why do you like it? Oh, you, you like it because you can open, open the book up and kind of dissect the human face. You're a little creepy, Dewey. You know that, right? All right. Well, this is Outside in Human Body. It's in the 600 section, uh, talking about humans and, and our bodies, as well as mice. Uh, and you can find this, too, at Medford Public Library. Um, I have one last friend for you, Dewey. Would you like to meet him? This. Oh, isn't he cute? He's a little guy. He is, he is a black death microbe. Did you know, Dewey, that it was mice who caused that great plague epidemic in, in Europe back in the, in the Dark Ages? Uh, they carried the black death to people, kind of, kind of like you're doing right now. And you want to know a really fun and interesting fact? You know the, the, the story or the nursery rhyme, uh, Ring Around the Rosy? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, they all fell down. Yeah, that was about the Black Death. And they fell down, and they didn't get back up. So come read about history and gross things at Medford Public Library. Um.